I'm gonna show you how to get more views on YouTube using TubeBuddy, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, with that out of the way, we are going to head to the computer so that I can show you how to use TubeBuddy. And real quick, before I do that, if you already have TubeBuddy installed, go ahead and sound off in the comments down below and let everybody know what TubeBuddy has done for you. If you are not familiar with TubeBuddy, it can be a game changer for your YouTube channel. I have a link to it down in the description below so you can go and check it out. And that link will actually save you 20% if you decide to pick it up. Okay, so the very first thing that you wanna do when you are trying to do some tag research is you want to first start typing in the topic of the video that you wanna talk about. So in my case, I'm gonna do YouTube tips. I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to say, okay, YouTube tips, I'm already ranked in a couple of spots here, but I'm going to say YouTube tips. Now I want to explore this YouTube tips tag. So what I'm gonna do is normally, if you see the same thing, if you don't see anything here, what you wanna do is you wanna go and you actually wanna refresh the page and then uh, explore YouTube tips is gonna show up, the little TubeBuddy tag there. So basically I'm gonna click on that. And when I click on that, what's gonna happen is TubeBuddy is going to analyze everything that's going on in the page. And they're going to give me a score right down here in the bottom that's gonna tell me, hey, is this something that I should try to rank for or not? And in this case, they're saying that I have a good chance of ranking for this. I'm at a 61 over 100 score which is good. They're saying that it's slightly competitive, but it's searched very often, which makes it a good keyword to target. So as you can see here, they show you the search volume and they show you the actual competition that you're going up against as well. And they also give you some additional info as far as you know how many of these spots you already own and who owns them and things like that. So another really awesome thing about this is if you look over here, they have the most used tags. And in addition to the specific phrase or the specific keyword in this case that I would be going for, as I scroll down the page, it gives me a bunch of different options that people usually connect with this particular video topic, which is great. Now, if you go to the trending tab, the trending tab basically gives you additional information. This tab right here says, okay, YouTube channel tips, not just YouTube tips, but YouTube channel tips is something that is kind of trending um, over the last 12 months, something that is directly related to the videos that you're making. So basically this is giving the suggestion that if you're gonna try to rank for this, maybe you should take a look at this one too and then make the decision on which one that you wanna go for. Um, another awesome thing here is they have the auto-suggested option. With this, this is really powerful and I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, let's say that I'm going for YouTube tips. This is telling me that in Google, when people start typing in YouTube tips, Google autofills YouTube tips and tricks, YouTube tips for beginners, YouTube tipsy bartender, YouTube tips for a shipwright. And they basically tell you that on YouTube, these are the autocomplete options. On Google, these are the autocomplete options. This is powerful because YouTube, as we all know, is the second largest search engine in the world. Google is the first. So when you can rank videos in YouTube and you can rank videos in Google, this can be a game changer for your channel because not only are you feeding all of that YouTube traffic, but you're also feeding Google traffic. So that's where you really win is when you combine these two features and you're actually pushing traffic in from both of these um, two platforms. They also give you the historical tab. So basically what this is doing is this is saying that over time, this is the interest in this particular topic as far as you know how often people are searching for it. And what you wanna keep in mind here is you wanna say, okay, is this something that is on the upward trend or is this something that's on a downward trend? Or is this something that is pretty much evergreen and has had a pretty consistent a pretty consistent pattern over time? In this case, it's had its ups and downs, of course, but over time, it is pretty consistent. So that tells me that if I make a video about this, there's a good chance that this is going to continue to drive traffic to my channel over a long period of time. Now, there's also the map thing where if you're going for, for high volume keywords, um, in that particular case, this is gonna tell you where people are looking around the world for those terms. So in that case, you know you can really dial in your actual tar uh, target demographic as well, which is also powerful. And they also have the results tab, which is basically where they pull the results from that actual search term and let you know, hey, these are the actual videos that you're gonna be going up against when you are trying to rank for this term. So one thing that I look at here when I'm trying to rank against other people is I look at the actual month that they uploaded. How long ago did they upload this video? How many views did they get? 
And when I look at the actual views that they get, a few things that I consider, I consider, okay, well, in this case, um, this is Sean from Think Media TV. Awesome, awesome content over there. If you're not subscribed, definitely head over to Think Media TV and subscribe to him now. I'll put a link to him in the description. But um, in his case, he has a lot of subscribers on his channel. I think he just recently crossed 300,000. So congrats to you, Sean, on that. When I look at this number, I have to consider that. And I have to say, okay, well, this has a lot of views on it, but where did these views come from? Was YouTube suggesting these out? Does he have all these views just because of his different placements in search? You know, you have to you have to actually analyze the channels that you're going up against as well in order to make sure that you're making the right decision as far as if that particular topic is going to continually drive views to your channel or not. So in this case, it's clear to me that he is actually trying to rank for how to grow your YouTube channel fast. Um, and his secondary term is YouTube tips, where me up here in, in this spot, you know, mine is top five YouTube tips for small channels. I was going for the multiple word keyword phrase, but I just happened to end up here, which is, which is also good. <laughs> but in a nutshell, what you want to do is you basically want to analyze these other channels. And you want to say, okay, well, if, if, if I'm going to try to rank for this term, I really need to look and see who it is that I'm going up against. And I need to consider, you know, how many views they're getting. That's where the that's where the the big thing is is that but you also want to look at their channel size and consider that for their view count. And the reason for that is because, you know, like if I upload a video today with the amount of subscribers that I have, it's going to get pushed out to suggested features and things like that a lot more, which is going to inflate my view count. To where if somebody was looking at this and they weren't aware of that, then they would say, "Oh, wow, this is a great term because he uploaded this 3 months ago. He's got 38,000 views." But I can tell you right now that this video did not get 38,000 views just from coming up in search. Most of the of the views that came from this video actually came from suggested features. So those are the things that you need to keep in mind with the actual channel authority when you're trying to uh, when you're trying to rank your videos and you're looking at the competition on those pages. Okay, so now we're going to head over to the actual upload page of the video. So what we're going to do there is we're going to level this whole thing up a little bit. And I'm going to show you how to apply some of this information and the other things that TubeBuddy is going to help you do when it comes to tagging your videos. Okay, so here I am on my video page. And if you look here, basically, first off, this is a really cool feature as well. It's TubeBuddy's uh, video lytics tool. And what this is, it basically gives you an idea of your historical traffic on this video. Um, they tell you how many views you had in the first 48 hours and things like that. So you can kind of gauge your view velocity and things like that, which is extremely powerful. It's great information to know. Um, another thing that it's going to show you is for the actual tags, you know, what is it that you're actually ranking for? This is, this is extremely, extremely powerful information to have because this tells you, hey, you know, with all of the search data, all the metadata that I put into here, these are the things that YouTube actually, or these are the places that YouTube actually put me. So in order to make this happen, what you do is you go into your actual upload page of your video. So let's say that you just uploaded this video fresh. This is fresh content, something that's brand new. You just uploaded this. What you want to do is you, of course, you want to take whatever term it is that you're trying to rank for. In my case, I was going for best video editing app. So you want to take whatever term it is you're trying to rank for. You want to make sure that that term is in your title somewhere. You want to make sure that that term is also in your description somewhere. And you want to make sure that that term is also in one of your tags. In addition to that, you also want to do variants of that tag. So basically anything that's relevant to that tag is what you want to put here as your tag. So in this case, even though I'm going for best video editing app, it wouldn't make sense for me to put anything about OBS in here or to put anything about, um, you know, like uh, uh, growing your channel or anything like that. Like for, for the tags for this, making everything relevant to what it is that you're talking about is extremely powerful. Um, this can help you rank and more importantly, it can help you show up in suggested uh, in the suggested sidebar um, next to other people's videos, which is where the real juice comes from. But once you have your actual um, keyword phrase figured out, like I said, in this case, I wanted to go for best video editing app and I put that here, then I have to think, okay, well, what else are people looking for? So what I do in that case is I come up to the autocomplete and I say, okay, um, video editing app, right? And then I type that in and I say, okay, well, these are other things related to that people are looking for. And then I say best video editing app. And then here I see best video editing apps for iPhones, best ed video editing app for Android. So what I do there is I take that information and I put, you know, best video editor for um, Android there. I've got one somewhere in here for the iPhone. Um, as well. But where TubeBuddy comes into this 
is check this out. So I click here and then I click on the suggest button. Now TubeBuddy is analyzing what's going on with this video. Um, it's analyzing the competition. It's analyzing what I have in the title, what I have in the descriptions, and then it's going to give me suggestions based on that. So what I want to do is I want to look at this and I want to say, okay, well, these are, these are things that I didn't even think of like, you know, best editing apps, right? This is a new one that's actually popped up since, you know, my video has been up for a little bit. So basically it's going to show you things that they suggest that you also try to rank for. So how this works on this side is they tell you here, this is suggested for search. So what you want to do, if you're trying to actually rank your video in search, these are what you want to go for. If you are trying to rank your videos in suggested, then what you want to go for is this stuff over here. So in my case, I just have my my actual name there because because of the size of my channel right now, you know, I get suggested a lot anyway. Um, but I focus a lot over here for the search as well because you know I want to make sure that I'm that I'm really making the information relevant, and that's where that's where you win. So in this case, I'm actually going to add. I don't know if I have enough space here because it's almost full. But I'm also going to do best editing apps. Yeah, see, that took me over the 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 actual count there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in best video editing apps because that one they're suggesting to me is something that would rank and editing apps for me is not ranking phone apps for videos is not ranking and video editing is not uh video editing app is not ranking for me so i'm going to close this and then i'm actually going to take this out i'm going to take this out and i'm going to take uh, you know i'm going to leave that one but then that takes me down to 468 so basically i'm going to see if there's anything else that's relevant that would make sense that I put into my tags here. So, you know, of course I could do video editing. Um, of course I could do best editing software for Android, but I'm gonna look more in the suggested side for this one. And I'm gonna say, okay, is there anything that would actually fit into that little bit of space that I have to work with? Um, you know, let's, let's just, put, just put Android and let's see what happens there. And then that gives me enough space there. And then I still have a little bit. So I'm actually gonna, I'm, I'm actually gonna do it again. And I'm going to see if I can get these two um, tags to rank. I'm gonna see if they end up ranking or not. One thing too that I wanna make sure that I point out here is when you are looking at the tag options here, um, there's a little, there's like a little menu item here. When you click on that, then that's going to give you even more terms within the actual term itself. So in addition to all of the stuff that they're giving you, um, you're also going to get even more here. Now keep in mind, um, I have a legend account. So with, with mine, they're going to give me a lot of options over here. If you're using the free version, you're not going to get as many options. You will get options and it, and it will be a game changer for your channel if you don't have TubeBuddy installed already. But they're going to give you options here. Um, but if you upgrade your account, then as you can see here, they're going to give you a lot more options that you can choose from so that you can try to get in, you know, all of those tags that are going to help your videos rank and be suggested next to other videos. And really for the, for the little bit that, TubeBuddy charges for their service for my channel personally. I mean, if you go to my social blade right now and you look at the growth on my channel over the past year, a lot of that is contributed to, I mean, of course, good decisions have been made and things like that. But in addition to that, you know, YouTube or uh, TubeBuddy making all of this information easily available has been a game changer um, for me and how I optimize my videos um, for search and suggested. So what I'm gonna do is just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and just close this out. And then I'm going to just save it here. And once that's saved, another really cool feature um, that they give you inside of TubeBuddy is a sort feature. So this isn't required, but what I like to do sometimes is I like to go in and I click on sort, and then I do auto sort by rank. And then what that does is that is actually going to move all of my tags around and basically put them in order of the actual rank that they get, which is pretty cool. Another thing that I want to make sure to point out is if you go into the actual tag, so let's say once you get your tags lined in here, right, then what you want to do is you can also hover, right? Like if you, if I hover over this and I see best app for, uh, best app for editing video, then I can actually click on that tag. And then TubeBuddy is also going to give me more data on that particular tag as far as who's ranking there and all of the things that I mentioned before. So you can really break this down. So as you can see here, they're saying in this case that this is a bad one to go for um, because it's so competitive, but it's also good practice just so you know that as your channel grows that you do, I call them a Hail Mary, 
to where basically you you say, okay, I'm going to try to go for something that is a little bit more difficult than I would normally try to go for just to see if I can actually rank for it or not. Because, you know, sometimes it might look from the outside that you can't um, or that it might be difficult for you, but based on the SEO that other people are doing on their videos and things like that, sometimes you can just slide right in there and stick into a sweet spot, which is pretty cool. So here I am back on the actual video page itself. And real quick, I wanna say, if you have not already subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do that now and you click the bell notification icon so you don't miss any tip videos like this. But what I wanna show you here is on the tags, the ones that I just tried to, or the ones that I just added, I should say, um, the best editing apps, I'm now number three for that. And for Android, I'm currently number four. So basically at the time of this recording, I'm ranking for every single tag in this video. And the reason for that is because I used TubeBuddy and because they basically gave me the insight that I needed in order to get this information together so that I can make sure that I'm optimizing my videos correctly. If you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.